Hello and welcome. Today we're going to show you how to make this very tall cymbidium orchid arrangement. This arrangement is hugely popular. It makes your banquet hall or venue look glamorous, elegant. This can emit light and it makes it quite gorgeous and creates a wonderful ambiance. So we're going to use a very tall vase. This one is approximately 81 centimeters or um, approximately 31 to 32 inches in height. The downside to these arrangements is while they look very glamorous and very beautiful, they tend to be very heavy when filled with water and the flowers. So that means it's A, difficult for you to transport, and B, very unlikely that your guests are going to want to take these home because, again, they're hard to carry and they can spill. So we're going to show you how to make this in an effortless, lightweight, transportable way so that you can give these arrangements away at the end of the night as parting gifts or just simply have it successfully transported when you're handling them yourself. So in order to create this arrangement, you're going to need very few things. Of course, you're going to need the vase. You're going to need a glue gun. We have some birch branches here to use as support and as well as decoration. We are going to be using the branches as a very supportive, almost vine-like look for the orchids. We also need some pre-moistened acrylic balls. These will ensure that there is humidity in the vase, that there's hydration. We're also going to need some LED lamps. These are submergible. And of course, you're going to need an assortment of orchids. Here I'm just picking them based on color, theme, and so I have pastels. We're going to be creating a sort of layered step effect with the shorter orchids at the bottom, longer stems towards the top, and it's going to appear as though the orchids are growing alongside the birch branches out of the vase. So it's a very almost whimsical look. It's quite beautiful. So to begin, you might wish to decorate the neck of the vase with some of these acrylic beads or any other sort of sheet-like ribbon or design that you wish to attach. And for this, all you need is a glue gun and you wrap it around the neck and it just gives it an accent. It gives it a bit of a more polished, decorative look. But this is, detail is essentially all up to you and whatever you wish to include, or you may wish to exclude it, but this is completely flexible and adjustable. Next, you're going to want to fill the vase with some of these acrylic beads. Now, acrylic beads are very lightweight, so this will help solve your heaviness problem and make these more mobile, more transportable, and easy to carry out of the venue once the event is done. We usually combine these acrylic beads with an LED light, and what this does is that it creates this luminous glow and if you put it on a table and dim the lights it looks quite beautiful and it creates an ambiance. So here I'm using a strainer that's to dra drain the excess of the water and this is a really nifty tool because it will help you drain the excess of the water so you aren't filling up the vase with anything but these acrylic balls or crystals or whatever you wish to use. These balls do contain water and moisture so they will help hydrate both your orchid stems and also emit hydration throughout the vase so that there will be humidity and this is optimal for your flowers. So as you see here I am filling them up with these acrylic balls. You will fill up, um, well you won't fill up of course too much of the vase but you'll just fill up enough of the bottom and then you can submerge a couple of LED lights to create that luminous glow. Here I am beginning by taking a birch branch. Now this is incredibly useful because it creates this sort of skeleton, this vine through which you can build and form around your flowers. So before I submerge the branch, I'm going to set the lower tier of the flowers. Now, you want to start with the lower tier of the flowers first before putting in the branch because then it's going to be easier to work around the branch. As you see here, 
I am putting these flowers back to back so that the flowers are facing outward. This is very important because these are not inexpensive flowers and you want to ensure that every flower is being displayed and that it is viewable around a table, for example, so that every stem is kind of being exhibited in a very good way. Then you're going to gently insert the branch as you see I'm doing here. And like I said, these branches create this blooming and blossoming look, which is quite beautiful and quite unique. So as you see here, I am inserting it and just be very, very careful when you are inserting the branches, inserting the flowers. I like to tilt the vase back as I insert the flowers because of the height of the vase. So don't, um, try to be careful and don't just cram everything in there because these could break. They are very delicate. So I'm taking the next stem here and this is a little bit longer of a stem. So as you see, you are creating a tiered effect. You are putting this flower in, be very gentle, ensure that every head of the flower is going in gently, do not rush. And you are putting it in and as you see the stem is touching the acrylic balls here but it's also creating this step ladder tiered effect and it looks as though the flowers are blossoming out of the branch as you see here. Then you're going to insert another stem and you're going to want it to face you face outward. So select whatever stem you would like to use next. This is of course in accordance to the color theme that you are using, as well as the length of the stem. And if the stem is too, too long, you can of course always trim it to fit. So as you see here, this is what it looks like after we've inserted about four stems. Next, you can insert an additional branch. Um, the branches, again, create that vine effect. They also peer out of the top of the vase, so it looks like your arrangement is literally blooming out of the vase, which is quite beautiful. So as you see here, put the branch next to the vase. Visualize the look that you're trying to get. Ensure that you're very cautious when inserting the branch into the vase. And just be mindful of any curvatures or any protrusions that might damage the flowers already inside. So be very cautious. And then you can insert the stem. You might want to wish that the branches are not both facing the same direction, that maybe they're protruding in opposite directions to create a more fanned effect. If the branch is too long, you can just snap it and cut it down and put it back into the vase. This is a bit of trial and error as, of course, branches are not uniform and the flowers are not uniform, so you're going to have to visualize, maybe insert it, maybe trim things down and play as you go. But as you see, you have these very beautiful textured dimensions that you're adding into the vase. You're creating this wonderful effect. You are, it's, it's very whimsical. It's very natural looking and it's incredibly elegant. So as you see here, while a lot of people are concerned that if the orchids are not submerged in the acrylic, that they are going to dehydrate. That's not essentially true. Orchids can have a lifespan of about 24 hours without water. If you create a human environment as we are doing with the acrylic balls, they will last. They will last throughout your ceremony. So you should not be too concerned about stems not being fully submerged. And you can insert, as you see I'm doing here, additional stems uh, towards the top of the vase arrangement as you can see that I'm doing here and the stem is not touching the water but it is going to be cared for by the humidity that is being created by the acrylic balls. So here you go and you're seeing the look that I'm creating. 
Another additional detail is having the orchids peer out of the vase. Now this, again, is very in line with the blossoming, blooming effect. And again, don't be too concerned that the orchids are not in water. They can last for up to 24 hours. They will last throughout your ceremony. And you shouldn't be too, too concerned because you have created that humidity. And it just makes for a beautiful blossoming look. If you are concerned, of course, you can stop at just filling the vase and ensure all the stems are in the acrylic. So as you see here, this is the finished result. It is very beautiful, very elegant, very natural looking. It is a unique arrangement and it's very easy to make and you can use whatever orchids you prefer. Dendrobium, Cymbidium, Phalaenopsis, it's entirely up to you. The perks of this is that it's easy to make. It is easy to, to transport. It is very lightweight. There's basically no weight to it. You don't have to be concerned about it spilling and you can create this to fit whatever vase that you're working with. The dimensions of your vase and the height of your vase as well as the diameter of your vase, it, it's entirely up to you and that will of course change how many flowers are being put inside it. And as you see, you can use whatever orchid you would like and whatever accents you wish to incorporate. And as you see here, it is very lightweight. So you don't have to be concerned with your guests being unable to take it at the end of the evening. So this is the final product. And when you dim the lights, you can see that the LED creates this illuminated, beautiful effect that will set the mood and be really tranquil and relaxing for your guests. This is the finished product. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below and we will answer them. I really wish you the best with your designing and I hope to see you soon. Thank you for watching.